in the nine hundred million dollars per year for ten years. It's a good deal for Quebec. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you smile. You smiled. Um, no, no, of course not. Of course not. If all provinces agreed, based on historic data of what was the federal transfers, because what's happening is that the federal government takes almost half of our income, income tax, um, and, and they don't have those very costly programs such as healthcare and education. So historically, they were more generous to provinces, less busy inventing new programs. So all provinces made demands. Quebec's demand is six billion. If you get less than one billion, you're missing 5.1 billion every single year. And it's a huge difference in terms of the health system, but also in terms of deficit. That would mean that the deficit would be six billion, not 11 billion. And, and that's uh, without considering the other 900 that is due for uh, uh, medication insurance and the other three billion that is due for dental uh, programs. So at the end of the day, we are not getting our own money back from the federal who's too busy working on things that are not as essential, uh, programs that we didn't decide, uh, not as essential as healthcare. But don't you think the, uh, the, the CEQ government can use this tentative deal to say, well, we'll improve uh, the healthcare system and then that can help the party, the government, to forget about the poll, no, it's, it's the exact the poll opposite. results? No, it's, it's the exact opposite. They used to budget explicitly two years ago, the six billion. So if you go back two years ago in the budget, you would have six billion transfer from the federal and they would count on it. So they actually had a drawback of five billion in their planification. Those five billion are missing. And that's why independence kicks in, it is a so direct solution. If we keep the 82 billion that we send to Ottawa, we can make the choice to say those five billion they go to healthcare because it's urgently needed, and that's uh, our point. I know you say uh, the the money was a slap in the face, um, but in most negotiations you don't always get what you want. You don't exactly you don't actually get. You can ask for six billion, but realistically you're not going to get that in any negotiating process. There's always a give and take. Is isn't nine hundred million better than nothing? Um, of course, if you start with the standard of better than nothing, uh, does this guarantee you a health system that works? No. So the standard should not be better than nothing. The standard would be, it's our own money. It's not the federal's money. It's our own money sent to Ottawa. Uh, are we able to make our health system work? Or are we missing $5 billion to make this work? And if we're missing money and it doesn't work, then it's a problem and no, it's not satisfactory.